Hello and welcome to A Walk in My District. My name is Damian Graham. I'm with the City of Raleigh and today I'm joined by our Mayor, Mary Ann Bowen. Mayor, good to see you. Good to see you too. And lucky for both of us and everybody watching, we are also joined by Janet Cowell, President and CEO of the Dix Parks Conservancy. Good to see both of you. Thanks for being here with us. Absolutely. And so I love spontaneous um, <laughs> meeting know. up in the park on a sunny day. Yeah. So. That is the sole purpose of this today's video. We are here to talk about Dix Park and all the things going on. And uh, very soon we have the beginning of, in essence, what, the first phase one, if we're calling it that, the plaza in play. Mm -hmm. Mayor and, and, and uh, President Cowell, t tell us, what, what can we expect with this first uh, big development with the park? Do you want to go first? Sure. Well, we are uh, doing groundbreaking next summer in July for the Play Plaza, which will be a 18.5-acre uh, multiple playgrounds, community gathering space, picnics. Um, just to give you a flavor of some of these playgrounds, one is modeled off of Yates Mill Pond and will have waterworks that are Sort of multi-generational play where children can learn and you know uh, about water and and um, sort of educate as well um, a STEM playground. So it's really going to be a uh, multiple factor playground with lots of opportunities for everyone. And just to dig in on that for a second, so how so you're, you're breaking ground? You said next summer. Mm -hmm. How long do we think before completion? The two year construction. Two -year construction. So the opening is summer of 2024. Okay. All right. Yeah. And so the location of that particular area is, I think, home right now to the dog park, and that is moving. And Mayor, I know that dogs are very near and dear to your heart. <laughs> What's the city doing to accommodate what is now a very popular spot on this park? Well, that's where Plaza and Play is going to go. And it, when you look up from the top of the hill down, you can imagine this, the fountains, whatnot. Um, my favorite part of Plaza and Play is the swings. So it's swings for adults and kids. Can't wait to take my grandkids on that. But um, the, the dog park, that is always near and dear to people's hearts. It's very emotional, whatnot. This Saturday, we're doing a yappy hour at the park to talk to people about the new location, also get feedback from them on Dick's Park and, and what we're working on here. But the dog park, the lovers of the park have made it very clear that this is an important piece of where we go moving forward. So um, Saturday is really the first um, gathering as we discuss, okay, what are the next steps and where do we go? Yeah, what, what I've always heard from folks is that it's one of the few places where you can really let your dog go and it's a, it's a big enough expanse of property that they can really uh, enjoy themselves and so it's important to have some other location also <laughs> on the park that they can enjoy as well. Yep. Oh, those dogs love it. They run around. I'm not sure who loves it more, the owners or the dogs, but it's a sight to see. I love it. So on Dix Park, uh, if folks haven't been here before, one of the unique things about it is it was a, it's been offices, it's been a hospital, it's been a number of different things. There are a number of different properties still on the, uh, in, within the park. And recently, Mayor, you just cut a ribbon on one of the first renovated properties on the park. Tell us about that. Well, it's um, the Greg Poole Jr. All Faiths Chapel. Um, as everybody knows, Mr. Poole, he was really the person, the business visionary, who put his heart and soul into making sure this park happened. And this was done in his memory and in his honor. Um, it was. Clearscapes was the architect. I'm very pleased to say Barnhill Contracting was the contractor. Um, Mr. Barnhill was very good friends with Mr. Poole. Um, he donated a sizable amount of money to the restoration and um, I think it was a very proud moment for all of us, um, Janet, when we cut that ribbon. The artwork in there by Chris Hoyt is phenomenal. It really takes you back to everybody who had a part of of the Dix, Dorothy, Dorothea Dix property. So, you know, you can see images of people who worked here, people who were enslaved here. I mean, it is a history. And they even have images of people who worked on the project. So it's one of those things where the chapel glass um, is the original glass. They did a lot of um, 
touches that remain. So it really is a tribute to the past, but it's also all about our future. And people can host weddings there, celebrations, parties. I mean, it is going to be a great community asset. And I'm just so proud that Mr. Poole was honored in this way. You, you mentioned past and future coming together again. I, I can't help but notice. So if you, as you're standing here and you look out, you see this amazing park and then the changing skyline. The skyline behind us is changing all the time. But yet we have this unbelievable resource of open space right here, in essence, right downtown. There's a lot to this park. It's enormous in its size. It's one of the biggest in the country in terms of a project of this size. What is the future vision for the park, if you can try to sum it up? Well, I you will take that. I will say that this park will add a lot of amenities to the city that we don't necessarily currently have. The biggest field, right, where you can host live open concerts of like Dreamville, 50,000, you know, 60,000 people in, in this facility. The Rocky Branch Creek, which is here below us, you know, Raleigh is a city without a formal waterfront. Of course, the Noose River is, you know, on the, on the eastern boundary, but to restore the Rocky Branch and open that up so that really is a waterfront for the city of Raleigh. And as we know, I mean, we have some of the best skyline views here in the city. So there's amenities, but then there's also, I think it's about values. It's a place of welcome and inclusion. You know, Raleigh is this, what second most popular place to live. We have all sorts of communities moving here and they all want to be a part of Raleigh. They want to understand this place and what is there to offer. And I think this park is, you know, can be the central park of the state, of the city, of this region. And it, it, you know, just a welcoming, inclusive place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, it's and sometimes too, it's the small things. Like we recently created over there a walking area through the woods. Um, AmeriCorps students um, did that work um, during the summer, so it's a place where you can walk and just kind of uh, breathe. There's a hammock um, city here where people can lay on hammocks. There's an area where people can play with their kids and with these brightly colored um, picnic tables. You know, that really just, the art brings the place to life. So we're just in the early stages, but you know, if you can come and bring your dog here, bring your family here, you can run around, you can, it's that respite. It's getting away from the city and the hustle and bustle and all of a sudden you're in this quiet, tranquil place. And when I first came here, I said, wow, this is why Dorothea Dix was here. Um, this is a place where people, mental illness, throughout the history of our state, came for treatment, but also came for that time to get away to get better. This is the perfect place to do that. Um, it's tranquil, it's, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. And appreciating that beauty, but also appreciating all the people who are here before us, that has to be an important part of this park. We have to honor those who are here first. Well, having this uh, amazing amenity allows us to keep that quality of life that I think has drawn so many folks to our community uh, already and, and certainly will in the future. Well, thank you both uh, for, for taking time today. It is a little bit warm, so I am, I am not glistening, I'm, I'm sweating. So uh, thank you both for coming. Uh, we appreciate your time and we will see you next time. <laughs>